Previously on BlazBlue Continuum Shift Extended. Jeez, that's a long name. Oh, I see. Then you are a pedophile. No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh my gosh! What the heck, game? Why do you keep hitting me with these? Oh no! I see where this ending's going! No! Oh, I, I, how many times am I gonna have to just block out that word? No, that's not fair! No! No! I'm sorry, but when I see a spade, or in this case, a pedophile, no, 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 no. such. Stop that! Perhaps you don't know what the word means. What? A pedophile, you see. No, 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 Stop this! Rachel! No! I, uh, uh, headphone warning, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and now back to the, this, this is the right one, right? Right game? We're sure this time? Yeah? Okay, good. All right, cool. And now back to the sequel. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Squatchkins of all ages, the likes and not. I am Pump Squatch. Hello! And welcome back to... Praise Brew Continuum Shift Extended. When we last left off, we had what I guess you guys consider to be the best gag reel in the game. I just considered it stressful. <laughs> uh, Rachel basically said a specific P word that, uh, that I had to, oh my gosh, that, when she said that, YouTube is not kind to words like that. So when she said that, I went into panic mode, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, oh man, is, you're probably wondering, well, Pump Squatch, why didn't you just, like, edit the sound of you screaming and panicking like Curse the Cowardly Dog over it? And the answer is, because it was funnier that way. <laughs> no, no, it has to be this way. It's funnier that way. My panic is genuine. We must leave it that way. <laughs> but yeah, we are going to jump right back into Rachel's story, but first, I want to say this right now. We have gone, what, a total of two episodes without reading comments in the beginning? Oh my gosh, it's probably only one, but still! Uh, yeah, it, it, that was great, and that's where it's going to end, because I like the comments, I like reading them, they're fun. So I'll probably just end up putting them, like, at the, uh, at the end, or at, at, I don't know, I don't know how I'll do it, but we'll see. Point being, I'm glad to be back playing this game, interacting. Also, quite a bit of has happened since the last time that I played, like, I interacted with someone who said that the, uh... Now there's a character that's named Buttfloss, and, um, yeah, they didn't tell me anything else, they just said, dude, dude, don't, I'm not gonna say anything else, just, just know this, when you get to this point, you'll know. Why? There's a character that Tao calls Buttfloss. That's it. You're on your own from here, man. Which I cannot wait to get to that point. Nobody give me any spoilers, dang it. I need to get to this point and experience it myself. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Alright, well, that's enough of that. Let's actually get into the game. Oh my gosh, here we go. I'm so glad to be back. I'm gl so glad that I'm gonna say this right here. <clears throat> welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Squatchkins of all ages, likes and not. I am Pump Squatch. Hello and welcome back to Braze Brew. Continue of shit. Extended. Story, Rachel. Let us continue. I gotta find the guide. Where is it? Did I pass it? I feel like I passed it. Where's the pa Where's the story? Did I miss a page? I feel like I missed a page. Oh, okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Ah, oh, I forgot! The first fight's against Hakuman! No! No! I will break your spirit with my Thought Slayer! No, not again, no! I've been through enough! Ah! <laughs> Gag reel. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Hakuman, please don't hurt me too much, please. I'm scared. The will bait is turning. Oh my gosh. Rebel one, action. Ah! Be another time. Don't come near me. Don't come this is all I can do. Don't come near me. Don't come this is all I can do. Don't come near me. Please. Don't come near me. Don't. Imbecile. Don't come do near it. me. Please. Don't come near me. Oh no! Don't, don't come near please me. stay away! Come I'm using the power of spam don't to beat Hakuman! I'm doing don't it! Come near me. Wait, can I do it? Can I? I think I can. Tempest yes! Oh! Eat a dick! Oh, I tried to teabag real quick. Ah! Oh, 
Take that Hakam in! I'm clearly better! That was rather fun. I'm the better gamer! Worry. Obviously. I doubt you'll be bored much Obviously longer. I'm the better gamer. That was sad. That was actually kinda of sad. <laughs> okay, we can skip this. That was so That was so BS. I will hunt you down with my thoughts later. Ah uh, yes, the only restaurant in town. A Chinese restaurant. Wait, did I just see for a moment a word that I should that shouldn't be here? <laughs> okay, okay. This is where we uh, branch off into two of the potential storylines. One is speak with him and we get the funny ending. We did that last time. That's not why we we're here. This time, we don't speak with him. Yeah. I haven't time for such a foolish creature. It's time we moved on. Whoa. I can't even remember the last time the princess didn't want- Yes. Oh. Rather interesting. Isn't it? She jelly. I wonder why. Oh! You think maybe she's Gino, mad because no, she Gino, was with Gino, another no. girl? Oh! I think she just snapped his neck. What the? <laughs> oh my gosh, Porky. A princess? What was that? That was his neck. His poor whittle neck. Oh, merely a simple joint lock. Uh. Mr. Hero sure is taking his time. I am well aware of that. Still, I imagine it will take him some time to escape that dreadful place. So he is able to get out. I don't think we've seen him really get out very much before that was in like a serious part of the story unless it was one of the really bad endings or something like that or, or one of the endings in general. Like I think we saw him get out for one of Ragnar's endings. Why didn't you just teleport him out with you, princess? Silence, Nago! That would make too much sense! Because I was quite tired from breaking the magic circle they used to hold him. And teleporting two is more difficult than teleporting one. I told him what he needed to know. I owe him nothing more. Hmm. Well, when you put it that way, it does sound fair. Does it? Milady, I have brought Mr. Jin Kisaragi to the castle. As you requested. Huh. Oh, that's right for one of his endings, right? Yeah. Is that so? Well, since Mr. Hero has yet to make his appearance, I suppose this will have to do. Wait, we get to fight Jin? Oh, well, you know, we're gonna have to fight Jin. We just gotta... We gotta make sure that How he's... How are you feeling, Mr. Hero? Yeah. Well, I trust. You know, whenever someone is feeling down... It's always good to make sure you beat them into a pulp to make them feel better afterwards. Because they'll feel more alive. When you beat them within an inch of their life, and then they come back from that as just okay a few months later, it's... they feel more alive than ever. Because they realize what it's like to be so close to death. I'm not just using this as an excuse to beat up Jin. I promise. It's so much more than that. It's like... 1% me wanting to make him a better person. The rest is wanting me wanting to beat him up. But it's that 1% is wanting him to be a better person. Who are you? Don't talk to me. Okay, okay now it's all me wanting, me just him wanting to beat him up. <laughs> you don't recognize me? How cruel. Yeah, he's like that. Shut up. <clears throat> Shut up? But how can I remain silent when faced with such disarray? Ooh. You're really messed up. He really is. Oh my, yes. It's pathetic, really. Just shut the hell up. Hmm. You seem awfully weak, and your appearance is amusing. I suppose you brought this upon yourself, didn't you? What did you say? They said you suck. Don't worry, Rachel, I got him for you. <laughs> Just kicks him like, don't worry, Rachel, I got this. <laughs> Are you sure this is entirely necessary? Yep, yep, don't don't worry, I got this. Alright, now stand back. This next one's gonna be messy. Why? Because you're weak, of course. Physically, mentally, in every way a man can be weak, you are. In fact, man is too generous. You are more akin to an infant. Helpless. Ooh, that one hurt. Me? An infant? 
Yes, I feel that fits well. Why, without Ragnar's apron strings to grasp onto, I doubt you could even stand. D do I smell milk? I believe I do. Okay, Rachel, you're going a little hard there, aren't you? That's a, that's a little bit too much, don't you think? Dang! Do you intend to stand in my way? I'll kill you! I, want, I wonder if she's just provoking him just to get him to stand back up and keep going. <laughs> I suppose dying once might be fun. Even so, I really should tell you, your efforts will come to naught. Die! What a spoiled little child. Oop. Unfortunately, I must keep you around. Just in case, you know. Sorry. Or perhaps if I play with you a little, your mood will improve. Sorry, I, I skipped it. It sounded like it was done. He was just like, Die! DIE! Or something like that. I don't know. He said something like that. Alright, now we're gonna beat him up. Seriously? Go! Go, King Frog! I'm trying! Now. Tiny Oh, I kill him with a pillow, yeah! Got you, Jin! That's right! Our princess is the best! Come on, okay, I really do think you really should stop now. Now, yeah, you see, you think I should, but I think this is fully justified. Just, just give me a minute, okay? I knew you'd been hurt, but I thought you were at least stronger than this, Mr. Hero. How disappointing. What did you say? Oh, hush. Your arrogance has played you false this time, hasn't it? Perhaps this new perspective will help temper your foolishness. Why not look up for once, instead of down? You're one to talk! Oh! Gee, please don't. Shh! Don't you ever learn? She's going to hit you! Yes! Yes! Stay quiet, Gee! Please! Still, this should be enough to keep him at bay. Him? Valkenheim! Hmm? Valkenheim? Yes, milady. I've seen everything I wished to. Would you be so kind as to dispose of our hero? As you command, milady. Now, Master Jin. Shall we return to Kagutsuchi? Hell no! I, I can... I can still... Jin, just go. Man, this guy is really annoying! Thank you, Gi! Thank you so much! Oh my gosh, I relate to you so much more! I li I need a little plush of Gi to put him on a pedestal because he has said the most sensible thing in the entire universe! Just thank you, Gi! Thank you, my guy! My true guy! Right here! Quick, get him some snacks! He deserves them! Oh, wow, I really don't like Jin, do I? <laughs> well, I guess the last 10 minutes of me kicking him and beating him with the tombstone really, really attests to that, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, yes! He's the sort of guy the princess hates the most! I leave him in your care, Valkenheim. Valkenheim bows, bows, places his hand firmly on Jin's collar, and disappears. Madam Rachel, Master Hakuman has arrived. He just comes back, and there's a bite mark on his hand. On his hand. He's like, He bit me! What the hell was that? Who? Wh why, why would an officer of the library bite someone? What? I, I, I'm, I'm drinking this personal. You know, I'm going back. I'll be back, okay? I'm going to bite this guy's head off. Screw this guy. No, no, he's dead. He's dead! He is a dead man! Okay, welcome back, Galganai. Oh, it's good to be back, you know? It's been too much. It's been, it's been a long time. It's, it's good to be back. At last. What on earth could have taken the fool so long? What do you wish to do, my lady? I will go. He has made me wait quite long enough. I must see that he makes appropriate reparations. Nice. All right, well, we beat up Jin. I think that's a good place to call it. <laughs> I'm kidding. We'll do a little bit more. You are late. My tea has grown quite cold. Wow. What was that thing? I beg your pardon? What thing? Don't mince words. You know what I saw. Why is such a thing in Sector 7? What? I've no idea. Oh, sorry. Her affairs are none of my concern. None of your concern? Are you mad? That abomination is a nuclear weapon. Have you already forgotten the Dark War? Forget? Would that it were so easy. No. 
I am sorry to say that like you, I am simply an observer. I cannot forget. Even if I had the desire to do so, I haven't the ability. Wow. Then why do you allow it to exist? As terrible as the Black Beast was, that abomination was even worse. It brings nothing but destruction and death. I know. Has the human race still failed to realize its folly? Do they not understand how many lives fell before the force of the monstrosity? The destruction it brought to their world? No, I believe you misunderstand. Huh? I'm uh -huh. sure they know that very well. Unfortunately, it seems we have a visitor. Visitor? What? What? Lambda? Oh, no. That's not good. We have a branching story here. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, this is, this is not good. Princess, something's here. Do I want depression or do I want the true ending of her story? Uh... Something feels wrong. The Murakumo unit. No, this is Lambda 11, a simple causality phenomenon. Oh, that's how that's pronounced? Wow, okay. The strange girl Rachel calls Lambda 11 and looks at the sky. Her eyes blink. She raises her hands into the air, like a child waiting for snow. Come now, Kokonoe. Say hello. I know you're here. Don't get in my way, Rachel. I could say the same to you, Kokonoe. What are you planning? Do you really believe you can defeat him with your toy? It looks rather delicate. Perhaps it needs to be repaired? Cute. But I don't have time to trade clever verbal jabs with you. I'm just here to take Hawkeman. Ah, my oh, that's mistake. that's right. I see you are the toy on the verge of breaking. A confused kitten who makes the same mistakes over and over. Sadly, I fear you are beyond repair. Shut up! No. I'm gonna shut you up? PERSONALLY! Such arrogance. You make me sick. Have you forgotten your place so quickly? I had thought you better than that, but it seems I overestimated you. Lambda! Order confirmed. Commencing extermination of target. Lambda 11 blinks slowly and nods as if confirming something. Rachel sighs. Alright, alright. If we select this one, we get the bad ending. If we just leave this task to Hakuman. But if we fight her ourselves, we can go on to the true ending. Okay, I'm- you know what? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to do both endings. First, we'll do the depressing ending, then we'll do the true ending. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry I was quiet this whole time, but- Oh my, I- It's just so good! It's so good! Okay, here we go. The rest she will leave to Hakuman. Hazma she must deal with herself. Oh, I hope that was a good choice. Teremi. Oh my, if it isn't the princess herself. What are you doing here? Where is the successor of the Azure? Is that Ragna? Quivering shadow lies on the floor behind Hazuma. Oh, he was making a whole lot of noise, so I had to ask him to quiet down for a bit. <sighs> you little! What manner of foolish scheme is rattling around in that rotten head of yours, I wonder? I guess this isn't to be expected of him, though. Aha! Uh -huh, I like that face! Good old Princess Know-It-All. Sounds like you've got everything figured out, don't you? Well, I mean, superficially, at least. Tyranny. Something makes Rachel stop mid-sentence. Something strange in the back of her mind. What is this? Hmm? What's up? She feels the darkness moving behind her and spins around. There is nothing but black, dark as pitch. The road she took is nowhere to be seen. Did something intervene just now? Ah, uh -huh, you see? You understand, oh, I'd say, just about the tip of it. 
What is going on? This is odd. I wonder. What a cruel smile, Teremy. You make me nauseous. <laughs> really? Uh, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> Okay, why is he laughing, though? Then why don't you just puke all of it? Just puke all of that useless stuff right out of your mouth hole. Blood, bones, guts, tea, all of it. That pretty little mouth of yours just begs to be spewing vomit. Teremy, why are you attempting to revive the Black Beast? The Black Beast? Why the hell would I want to revive a failed project? Has your mind just been rotting away all these years? Mental note, T turns you into a drooling idiot. Wow. Failed project? Uh, yeah. The Black Beast was a big, fat failure. Kinda had to bust my ass to stop that cauldron's rampage, but hey, I learned a lot. And isn't that what life's all about? Learning? I think it's made me a better person. Shouldn't even say anything. <sighs> then it's as I thought. The blaze blue is. Oh, said the Azure Grimoire is. Hmm. A little bit of a mistake there, no worries. Yes! Ding ding ding! A, a cauldron. cauldron! The blaze blue itself is nothing more than a cauldron. And if it's gonna crank out the kind of sword I'm looking for, it's gonna need a whole lot of souls. Of course, while I was shoving souls into it, it decided to pop out a kid. And that kid was the Black Beast we all know and love. Wait, what? Get it? Does it all make sense? God, you're such an arrogant pain in the ass. I hate you. <laughs> Wait. Wait, what? Seriously? That's what happened? Wow, that... Huh. Then the Bit of a revelation. Its purpose isn't to create the Black Beast. My God, it speaks. No, genius. Of course it isn't. The whole point of Blaze Blue is to make my sword. Everything in this whole world is just an illusion. You know that word? It means it's fake. All of it. And I'm gonna show everything the truth. The truth I like to call. Despair has a nice ring to it. Anyway, the time has come. The time for Murakumo to awaken. No. In the name of Susanoo, I command you, Murakumo, awaken! Behold the sword of the God Slayer, Kusanagi! No, no, gotta stop him, Rachel, come on! Let all lies fall before your divine blade! Noel. Wait, what? Wait, that's right. This is after one of Raga's endings. Oh no! I see. You've already acknowledged the Amaterasu unit. Moo? Very well. I see I have no choice. We fight then. Wait, what? Uh huh? The sudden heat of a piercing glare strikes Rachel's back, and she spins around, standing amidst the swirling darkness is a phantom. Uh, what the? Huh? I don't... I don't recognize any of these shadows. A magic circle springs to life at her feet and twitches. Powerful forces catch and pull at Rachel's dainty foot, drawing it through the floor. As she, as her balance falters, a small noise of frustration escapes her lips. The circle gains strength and begins to pull harder. The feeling of inexorable defeat makes the vampire's blood boil. This is inexcusable! Release me this instant! Oh, I don't think so. No point in squirming around now. You aren't getting out. I mean, you can struggle if you want. It's kind of fun to watch. Jeremy. Those on the outside must remain thus. 
else they meet a cruel end. What? Then you have awakened, Imperator Librarius. An observer, yes. Then your end was foreordained. Meet it and fade from my world. Rachel sinks down to her thighs as she as her eyes dart around the room, looking for something, someone. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you don't think someone's gonna show up and save you, do you? <laughs> you talk a big game, but when shit gets real, you're just another scared, sheltered little princess, aren't you? Hey, hey, Rachel. Tough luck! That stuffy old prune isn't gonna pop in to save your scrawny little butt. Guess why? Go on, guess. No? I got rid of the entrance and the exit. <laughs> you will remain. The door has been closed to you. How can you? The Phantom provides the restraint we require. Come on, I'm doing you a favor here. Aren't you always bitching about how bored you are? Now you won't be bored about anything ever. Yes, I suppose you have a point. Much bores me. Mankind, monsters, nighttime, morning, your existence. My existence? Boring? <laughs> what are you on? You're the one with the problem. Stop trying to make this my fault. You're right. My apologies. You can't help being so dull. Not everyone can be as interesting as him. Him? Ragnar? What? Who are you talking about? Why, Ragnar the Blood Edge, of course. Who else? What? Oh, come on. <laughs> now I know you've lost it. You're telling me that quivery pile of meat and incompetence over there is interesting? More interesting than me? He is wow. cavalier, idiotic, talentless, and above all, a coward. I could spend eternity listing his faults, and yet, he is a terribly interesting man. Teremy, you are nothing compared to him. Done with your crap? <sighs> Good. Now, how about you die? Cease. Don't cease me. Patience is a virtue. Life is fleeting. And I am Imperator. Imperator Librarius' eyes flick at the flick to the phantom. It nods imperceptib imperceptibly, and a tremendous magic circle yawns it into existence beneath Rachel. Wow. Well. Uh. Rachel cries out as her body is bent backward. She has sunk to her waist already, but the second circle pulls her even harder. She begins to move down. Be gone. <laughs> oh, this is just wonderful. What a sight. What's it like looking up at people for once? You arrogant little bloodsucker. <laughs> What the heck? Teremi's kick draws blood from Rachel's perfect lips, but only for a moment before they too are lost beneath the floor. Rachel stares into the darkness and does not blink. Goodness, what a boring world. Rachel whispers once, and then the magic circle swallows her completely. There is silence. Damn it! Ragna? A hand appears in the darkness, a right hand. The thick, inky blackness of Rachel's prison squelches and rips in protest, and Ragna roars with effort. <laughs> with a final sickening pop, Ragna's arm breaks free from the circle. Oh no! With a grunt. He heaves Rachel's body from its inky prison. The dark magics that had wormed their way into her body vanish without a sound. As the last of the phantom's magic melts away from her face, Rachel opens her eyes and looks up at Ragna. Awkwardly, he mumbles something she can't hear. Almost without thinking, she licks the blood from her lip with 
the faintest with the faintest hint of a smile. As much of a fool as always, I see. I do wonder why I've yet to grow tired of you. One of the many possibilities of the continuum shift. Kokonoe, I require your assistance. Oh, that's right! <laughs> After every bad ending, we go to, uh... Kokonoe or whatever. <clears throat> Greetings, lost children. Hi, Kokonoe. I am Professor Kokonoe, genius scientist and ruler of the Sector 7 Laboratory. Well, okay, we aren't in the lab at the moment. This place can sort of be temporarily moved into the boundary. Well, simply put, it's a mysterious room. A room where you can do anything you want. Okay. To be honest, it's a paradise. Okay. For all those sad... Okay, I've seen this part before. Nut bars who's all okay, I get it. <sighs> Very well. Lost child of the day, you may enter. Come on, Rachel. Oh! She had a different entrance. What are you doing, Kokonoe? Huh? Your damn roses stink! You're gonna make my whole lab smell like roses! <laughs> oh, have you not heard? The scent of roses is good for one's skin and relieves stress. Yeah, that's if it's just a little bit. I think you might want to check on what that amount is. Hmm? I despise coffee, Kokonoe. Do make some tea. And this is the ultimate battle right here. Behold the ultimate battle! The little princess vampire Rachel versus the mad scientist dork Kokonoe. Who will win? Who will make the beverage? Find out next time on Coffee T Oh wait, that's another game I gotta do. Never mind. <laughs> Selfish as usual. All I have are tea packets. Tea bag? Ah, oh, look, don't go there, okay? You can't even do that in this game. What? Oh, teabag! <laughs> no, you can teabag, you can definitely teabag. <laughs> oh, then what is a, um, tea packet? <laughs> oh, that's funny. You have no idea what I'm talking about. No, I do not. I would thank you to explain it post haste. Ugh, that's it! I've had enough of your aristocratic bullshit! Oh. You want tea? You can chew on the leaves in the packet! <laughs> Such poor service. Dear me. Your conduct is rather unbecoming of a lady. No matter. Valkenhain? I don't think he's yes, coming. Milady. Oh, nope, he is. Okay, sure. Don't yes, milady me! How the hell did you get in here? <laughs> he could just access whenever she's like, needs something. She could be on... He could be on the toilet, and he has to run out, pulling up his pants like, eh, Yes, dear Rachel, what is it? Please, Falcon 9, I need you to change the channel this instant. Uh, uh, but... Uh, Miss Rachel, you're not watching- You're reading a book! You're reading a book! There's no channel to change in the book. I flipped the page. Uh, I, uh, uh. It is my sole purpose to appear wherever Madam Rachel sees fit to summon me. That's not what I was asking! Have you no fine chairs? You really must invest in some. Nago, Guy, I require a chair and cushion. Uh. <laughs> of course! On it! Now, please explain. Why am I here? This is a counseling room. People show up here after they got a bad ending, like you, and I give them advice. Nonsense. I need no advice. I know exactly what I'm doing. Sort of. I don't know how to play these characters. <laughs> well, you're not one to beat around the bush, are you? Still, unless you listen to my advice, you'll never be able to get out of here. Oh my, is that so? Then I suppose I will humor you. I have a rather good grasp of what all of this is about, but I suppose it is conceivable that your advice could assist me in some small way. Now. What do you believe that I have done wrong? Well, let's see. You remember the part where I yelled at you? Yes, clearly. Ah, yes. I felt that was a branching point. However, I did what was required of myself as a bystander. Mr. Hero is the one to blame. What? Yeah. 
let's not get into that right now. Long story short, you need to be more calm. Is that so? You're just a bystander. You really shouldn't be fighting Terami yourself. Interesting. I wonder why I felt such speed was necessary. Romantic comedy, perhaps? What? Maybe you wanted to be the girl who rushes to the airport to catch her boyfriend before he leaves the country. That is an outrageous notion. <laughs> Make such a joke again and I shall convert this entire room into an impromptu rose garden. Yeah, I have a feeling you just might go through with that. <laughs> I'd appreciate it if you didn't. Then you would be wise to choose your words with more care. Okay, okay. Changing subjects. Where are you headed attribute-wise? Hmm? Attribute? You mean fire, water, lightning, and so on? Oh, no, no, no. Not magic. I mean more like personality-wise. Your character attributes. Hmm, mm-hmm. I've no idea. I don't give much thought to such pedestrian things. I think you're going for the mean on the outside, nice on the inside deal. Sundere. Problem with that is, you're 100% mean. Ah. Uh... I'm afraid you've lost me. Are you suggesting I should be nicer? Do you think you can? There is little I cannot do. Hmm. Oh, really? Impressive. How about you show me? Oh, well, one moment. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! What? What? Uh, no. That's, that's, that's the opposite. Wrong. Yeah, that's the opposite of what she needs. Or means. I feel tired. Well, I guess you just can't manage nice. It is of little consequence. At any rate, you are scarcely in a position to be lecturing me on kindness. Okay, she's not wrong, exactly. That's not true. I'm nice to my subordinates from time to time. Huh? You? Nice? Oh, <laughs> that's a scary thought. <laughs> I too am nice to my Thank you, from time to time. Huh? You? Nice? That's a scary thought. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, Gee. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. I suppose this has been an acceptable break from my usual tedium. Really? So you're leaving? Yep. Indeed. I shall see you in the oh. world beyond. Oh, okay. For some reason, the movement of the ribbons is actually nice. I like that. I, I like the, the movement of the ribbons. She looks happy. That's good. It's a shame that she's gonna go back to beating up her animal friends. Animal friends. What about Guy? Oh, God, it stinks in here. I guess she decided to leave some of her rose stench behind. Man, why does everyone who comes in here have to make such a mess? Damn it! Tager! Hey, Tager! Get in here and clean this up! Wow. Wait, what about Guy? Acquired P money and RP. Nice, riot points. Okay, well that was fun. <laughs> All right, we are going to now jump into, well, actually I have to go take care of some errands, but we will jump into the uh, Rachel story when I return. Oh, also, <laughs> when I was looking for Noel sounds to put for that uh, previously on Braz Brew Continuum Shift Extended, I stumbled upon a video that had a good number of sounds I could use, but they all didn't sound like game sounds and instead sounded like uh, other sounds that she would make that I don't think would give this game the rating that it has if those sounds were, were more of the focus of this game, let's say. I think you know what I mean. I think y'all know what I mean. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up some of this the story after I go to my errands. I will be back momentarily to you guys. All right, be right back. The next day. All right, so welcome back. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I ended up uh, I ended up actually having to do this like the next day, which you know, life happens. That's fine. That's cool. It's whatever. I like this game anyways. Rachel, we're gonna be getting through more of your stories. So. We got through the supposed bad ending, but it just, 
it kind of shows to me at the very least one one of the outcomes obviously we know we know that all of the endings good and bad quote unquote are canon so but it also showed more of rachel's character other than her caring about ragna she truly does believe in him and we really do that we do see that she may have feelings for him as she cares about him immensely you know the normal stuff but uh yeah we're gonna finish her true ending to really finish off the story and who do i expect hmm let's see who would we unlock at the end of his story i mean his her story her story dang it <laughs> hmm let's see we we may end up unlocking uh i don't know balkenheim that'd be pretty cool that would actually be pretty cool uh, or we may end up unlocking Hakumin, or even Lamba Levin, you know, the, the, these people. But, of course, we know that the real goal is to unlock Makoto Nanaya, best squirrel! Best squirrel! Makoto Nanaya, Makoto Nanaya! <laughs> That's, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that when we get to it. But for now, I want to get back into this story with Rachel and get back to doing her story. It's so good! So good. So we're just gonna get back into it. Terami. Oh. Uh ne never mind, guys. Never mind. Misclick. It totally was a misclick. Didn't make a mistake at all. Nope. That yep. Hey, Hakuman. Alright, so the ending that gave us the or the option that gave us the bad ending <laughs> was uh was leaving this to Hakuman this fight, but you leave me no choice, I shall entertain you. For now. Mr. Hero, I think perhaps you should pay Terami a visit. That's right. Oh, that makes a lot more sense because he's supposed to be the hero, not Rachel. Terami? Yep. I suspect you are the only one capable of stopping him. I recommend that you hurry. Yes, me and my Thought Slayer shall slay him, for I am Hakumin. Weeaboo, away! <sighs> Weeaboo, walking slowly with epic music. Man, these, uh, these characters are something else, aren't they? <laughs> the will paid its time. All right. We all know the strategy to win this, guys. Action. Pillow. Wait. Pillow. No, no. My pillows aren't working. Oh, no. She's better. Don't try for... George the 13th. Go! Go, Mr. Froggy! Don't come near me. Now, George the 13th. No! Not Mr. Froggy! Wait, did she kill the frog? Oh, no, wait. The frog's fine. <laughs> Stop killing the frog! Go, Mr. Froggy! Do it! Do it! Yes! Go! 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 go. Yes, Mr. Frog! Mr. Frog really had a glow up. I need to finish it with King Frog. King Frog, you must join me. Ow! No, ah, King Frog, you will be avenged! <laughs> That's right. We had King Frog on our side. We won this one. Hey, put it there, Rachel. Rachel, please. You're scaring me. Rachel! Rachel! No, no, not again! No! You see? Your methods are not enough. Not enough to defeat him, at least. How could they if I can resist them so easily? Damn it. Be a good little girl and wait here. I shall seal Terami. Shut up. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I'm gonna be Terami! Me! The heck? Why is she so wanting to beat him? With the power ah. of science. That's right! I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna end up like my mother! If what? I can't do it now, then I'll go get the Amaterasu unit. Then I can kick the crap out of him! What is her deal? What? Why does she want to beat him up so bad? Is that why she needed Hakuman? I don't understand. Kokonoe, what the heck? You're a dork and you have an interesting story? My gosh, why do you have so many awesome parts? I mean, what? <laughs> that sounded weird out loud, actually. 
Why are there so many interesting things about her character? You? You plan to step up to the level of the gods then? Yes! Hmm. No. You haven't the strength. If it's impossible, then I'll just have to make it possible. If I can't move up to the gods, then I'll drag them down here. I'll do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes! That's some Gurren Lagan logic if I've ever seen it. And I love it. What a sad child. Her science has corrupted her heart and made her blind. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna save. Wow, that was a... Uh, dang, alright. Okay. What's up? Wow! What? Gi? Faster than the eye could follow, Rachel snatches Gi from the air beside her, and before the confused creature can blink, the massive shaft of a Montembo was has buried itself in the bat's fleshy stomach? What the Rachel? Why didn't you just move out the way? She tosses aside the squirming, agonized creature and draws Nago into umbrella form with the, with the smooth mo- same smooth motion- Rachel! Poor Gi! Ah, oh, poor Gi! The umbrella's sharpened tip lunges forward. Uh. What? Lychee? What are you doing here? Of all places. To bury itself in- I, I, her, and Lychee's, I, 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 really, why, <laughs> what the heck, <laughs> couldn't she have just blocked it, to bury itself in Lychee's voluptuous, <laughs> demonetizables, let's say. Then withdrawal, leaving only a small red mark on her soft skin. Yes, quite, indeed. Just drop by to say hello. Please leave this area. What is she doing here? Whatever for? Huh? I believe a man named Hazuma gave you a rather suspect piece of information. Would you mind telling me what he told you? Uh, hey! The princess is asking you a question, buddy! Hmm. You shouldn't ignore people, darling. That's dreadfully rude, you know. Silence. Oh! Oh! What the heck? You feel it is unsafe for me to proceed, correct? Correct. I apologize, but could you leave now, please? No. No. Uh, why on earth do you put yourself under such pressure? There is so little point to it. From your point of view, perhaps. But then again, what those like you who stand on the heights deem important is vastly different from what those of us who dwell in the depths might think. Is she aware of what Rachel is? They interacted enough for her to know? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, okay. So it would seem. You've gotten quite filthy at any rate. Do stop. It's really quite disgraceful. No! So close to finding it. Finally! Just what is she looking for? Anything you can grab with those filthy hands will fall to pieces. Then what do you propose I do? I want to save him! I want to save him, but no one will help me! Ah, uh, she's trying to save someone. And why should they? Kokonoe and the library have far more important things to concern themselves with. It has something to do with Arakune. Right? Yeah, it has something to do with Arakune. Because when Ragna fought Arakune in the first game and Kokonoe got in between them, he spared her. He spared him. Who is Arakune? Maybe it'll be set, it'll be told in uh, the next game, maybe. We'll find out. But if there is even a small glimmer of hope that they'll Holy those eyes! Holy those eyes! Holy
The wheel bait is turning. Rebel one. All right, I know what to do. Go, Mr. Frog. No, Mr. Frog failed me. Pillows. 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 Ah, she got past my pillows. Pillows. The ultimate defense. The ultimate. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't know where this is going. Pillows. 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 Go, Mr. King Frog. That didn't do as much as I thought it would. Don't come near me. Don't come near me. Ah, pillows for the win. Yes. What the? That's so dumb. <laughs> Sorry, Lychee. Well, have you managed to wash off some of your filth? No, 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 no! What are you talking about? Princess, you beat the stuffing out of her! She's even dirtier than when you started! The heck? Idiot! <laughs> that was a metaphor! <laughs> She's asking this young lady if she feels morally relieved after her tussle with the princess. <laughs> Stop or interrupting Nago. me, you imbecile. Uh, You're making me look like a fool. You already look like a dick. What's the difference? I lost. What, what should I do? Leave. Return to where you belong. Do whatever you can do. Essentially, yeah. Whatever I can do? Did I stutter? Yes. And think hard on what that will mean. Think very hard. That can't be good. What was that sound? Whoa! I'm... I'm shaking! It has begun. Hmm. Huh? What's be... Nago and Gi freeze, their eyes wide with terror. A strange presence fills the air. Rachel stands her ground as the phantom appears before her. <gasps> Ew. The, the witch, right? She leaps into the air to fly away, but a shadow twists itself around her ankle. Ribbons and specks of the, of the phantom's ceiling circle creep up her body like insects. Oh no! Princess! Princess! With a flick of its wrist, the phantom binds Nago and Gi together, slamming them to the ground. Their screams end abruptly. Stop buzzing what around the... me, annoying little flies. The heck? I'm sorry, did you just compare me to a fly? As you seem to merely be part of the audience, I ask that you not attempt to step up onto the stage. Just wait quietly in your seat. Ha! Huh. You think that will be sufficient to bind me? <sighs> Whatever should I do now? You are as children are. Cease this. The Imperator Librarius. Evening comes to the world. And I have come to draw the curtain of night. Wait, that's it? That's it? A cliffhanger ending? Really? Really? Are you are you serious? A cliffhanger ending? Ah. Uh, I hate it when they do that. So this is obviously leading into and feeding into the next story, or whatever. Because they all do eventually tie in together, the true endings. But... Or in some way, shape, or form, but... Come on, really? It's literally just like, find out next time on Blaz Blue Z or whatever you want to call it. Go away, mouse! Alright, sure. Oh, wait, I think we already... Did we unlock a story from her? No, I don't think we did. Really? Wow, okay. Um... Huh. Okay, I... I guess. <laughs> okay, well... Um... Yeah, go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below which character you want me to do for the next episode. Right now, our options are... 
a, a Tager, Carl, and that's that's it for the characters that we have that we can choose from, guys. There are no other characters that we could choose from. Everybody else is pretty much locked. So, uh, let me know which one of those two characters you want me to give a play in the next episode. And yeah, I just there's more to it. Obviously, that's the, the true ending. So there has to be. It has to lead into another story. Obviously, it just has to. There's no other way. Anyways, that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video or the content within, feel free to leave a like. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section down below. And if you want to have notifications of future uploads just like this one, come straight to you as they go live. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to become a Squatch Kin today. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. Really looking forward to playing the next episode of this game or whatever, whenever this is uploaded, you know. Just let me know which one you uh, want me to play, like Tag or Carl, either one works, you know. No need to worry, they'll be played. I, I can already hear some of you guys thinking, no, Jin is obviously there. No, no, he's not. Look, see? Look, he's gone. He's gone. There's there's a completely new character there. I don't, I don't know which one it is, but there's a completely new character there, so I'm sorry. There's nobody else there whatsoever. Anyways... <laughs> That's that's it. I don't know what to tell you guys. He just he's gone from the game. They released a patch and he's gone. I'm I'm sorry. Uh, wait. Military Academy, EX One. Uh, okay, maybe we'll give that a try sometime soon. Um, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Really do appreciate it. And as always, I am Pump Squatch. Goodbye. Look out on your best squirrel. <laughs>